Welcome to part 2 of this video series looking at more advanced registration concepts in Leica Cyclone. You can download the Cyclone database used in this video series by clicking on the link in the video description. In this part we're going to look at registration using Scanworld groups and we're going to look at importing one registration into another. So we're going to start with our familiar church demo database and I've created a registration here that I've suffixed with local external scans and I've also imported a selection of the interior scans that were carried out. I purposely haven't imported all of them because we're going to be demonstrating the advantages of using import registration later on. So I'm going to create a registration and I'm going to add in all the external scans. Say constraint, auto add constraints, and you'll see that where there's a target, a common target, a plus appears by the scan world. And we're going to just have a quick look to see that we've got constraints there, but when we try to register, we get registration failure. So, one way we can identify which scans aren't joining together correctly is by using scan world groups. So if we select all the scans, right click and say create scan more groups from selection with targets, get a warning telling us that if we do that it'll overwrite any existing groups, just say OK to those messages. Here we have some parameters, we're going to be using target IDs, all our scans are set up on tripods with the dual axis compensator on so they're all in setup and we're happy for Cyclone to create any new constraints. So we can see we have these scans which aren't grouped and we'll have a look as to why that is shortly. We'll also see that we've got a group here containing scan worlds 6, 7, 8, 9 and it jumps to 14, 15, 17 and in group 2 we've got two scans registered together 10 and 12 so in order to merge the scan world groups, I'm going to select scan world 10, scan world 9 and use the visual alignment tool to register the scans. So I'll just speed this footage up and cloud register that. And close that dialog and you'll see that the two groups have been merged together so instead of three groups we've got two groups and we'll do exactly the same with 17 and 18. So again we'll use the visual alignment tool to cloud register those scans together and once again we'll just speed up the footage and run the cloud link and the Cyclone is going to merge those two groups for us just close this window and there we have it, just one group and four ungrouped scans. So let's look at the ungrouped scans. If we have a look at station 13, we can see that there are actually two targets there uh, that are common to station 10 and also two targets common to station 12. So that scan will register with group 1 but we won't be able to add it to the group as we did before because Cyclone requires three common targets in order to merge scan world groups. So let's have a look at station 16 and you can see that with station 16 there's only one common target. So we can't register station 16 using targets alone. And a quick look at station 22. Yeah, we've got one target common to station 10, 12, 14, and 18, and two targets in common with station 21. So the problematic scan is station 16, and I'm going to remove that. Now, if we hit register, we can see that. We have a successful registration. Um, we can look at our error. OK, 
can see here our between targets our worst area is just three mil and our cloud registration we can just improve a bit there by changing the parameters to a higher subsampling 100% and rerun that cloud alignment now the reason we removed scanworld 16 and didn't try and visually align it is because there was actually no overlap um, on that particular external scan because the door was shut. Now I'll show you that later and when we use the import registration we'll be merging that one scan world in. So our cloud alignment's finished processing and if we re-register that somewhat improved our result. Okay, so have a quick look at Scanwell 16. And so we have targets L1, L2, and a target called Sync. And you can also see that unfortunately this scan was carried out with the door shut there. So we couldn't see any other targets inside the church, and we don't have any scan data inside the church to cloud register to. So this scan with L1 and L2 will join to our external scan data set. Um, in reality, the surveyor did do another scan with the door open, but uh, we've excluded it so that we can demonstrate uh, how to register the data together using import registration. So for now, we can just finish the registration and We can call this registration registration local underscore interior scans. And, uh, as in the previous video, we could choose to register by using a nested registration. So we could take uh, the external scans, the internal scans, auto add the constraints and uh, hit register. Uh, we could even coordinate at the same time by adding in the control points and set that as the home scan world. Constraint auto add, registration register and now those two registrations are joined together and coordinated. However in this tutorial we're going to look at uh, an alternative method we're going to import registrations and it just makes the process a bit neater. So we go registration, import registration, and we can import the registration for the external scans and then for the internal. And, uh, We'll now, now go to constraint auto add and we can hit registration register to join the two registrations together. But this time all the scan worlds have been registered together at once in the same registration. And it's difficult to identify the internal from the external as the file naming convention is the same. So if we go to the navigator we can rename the setups by right clicking and going to batch rename setups and we'll just put the word int there and now each scan mode has the suffix int. Unfortunately this is also renamed our registration so we'll just put that back to being registration local underscore int if we flip back to our registration, we can now tell the internal scans from the external ones. Having the groups uh, isn't necessary anymore, so we'll just ungroup those. You can see we've got all our scan modes together. And at this point, if we wanted to, we could augment our registration by auto adding cloud constraints. Now we'd look for all the possible cloud overlaps between these scans. So if you remember earlier, 
We couldn't register scan world 16 because we only had one common target with the uh, internal scans. If we go and look at it, we can see that we've got L1 and L2. Both of those targets are common to the external scan world data set. So at this point we should be able to add that scan in. Let's find it on the list. And constraint, auto add constraints. Just doing a think and it will register correctly. In the event that scan world 16 did not have targets, we could always have uh, done a cloud link to complete the registration. Registered scan data is now ready to be coordinated and you could do this by adding in the local control points or you could do it by creating a nested registration. Join us for part three where we'll be looking at Smart Align in Like a Cyclone. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.